Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Godness One UI ROM for our Galaxy J7 2016. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is the Godness One UI ROM and it's ported from the Galaxy A6. As you can see, the model number has changed here. Then into software info, uh, as you can see, it is based on the latest One UI 2.5, which is obviously on top of the Android 10. And we also get the simple kernel and we have the September 1, 2020 security patch, not the latest, but still just a month back, but yeah, still a good uh, latest one for our Galaxy J7 2016. So guys, like the A7 and S20 port, the Godness ROM is also a treble ROM, so you will need a vendor partition to flash this ROM. So all of the stuff is in the description and also if you want a video regarding how to create vendor partition, here is the link. You can just go to that video and check it out. Just don't flash the AOSP ROM which is mentioned in the video. Then you can easily flash any AOSP treble GSI ROMs or any one UI treble ported ROMs. Basically the newer newer ones and if you want to revert to the older ones, you can flash the revert vendor and easily go to the older ones. Now let's take a look at the ROM. So guys starting with the home screen, this is the basic launcher, the one UI launcher, then this is the app drawer and it's fully debloated, like not a lot of extra stuff is present. Also we have the one UI 2.5 apps and now moving to settings here we have one UI 2.5 elements uh, as you can see like in the display you have this dark mode categorized light and dark with this visuals and then dark mode settings we have some extra settings like applied wallpaper and adaptive color filter then down here we have your basic blue light filter outdoor modes then screen mode uh, yeah your basic uh, stuff and you can also change the white balance if you want warm or uh, cold display then full screen app, screen zoom, your basic stuff is present. Also, we have the show charging information. So if you have this enabled and if you have your screen locked or if phone is not in use, it will show a little bit uh, small of a charging in, uh, information about your battery percentage and the icon uh, below on the uh, screen. It's not actually always on display, but yeah, something like that, like the screen is fully turned off and a small part is available. Then into wallpapers, we have the basic stock wallpapers. Also, this is the stock uh, wallpaper which is present, modified one. And we have the A6 wallpapers present. Don't know if it's like actually from A6, some are from the S10 also. Like they all are the same, resemble the same. Then themes and all the stuff, you have to like apply the permissions and all. Then lock screen, and we have a clock style. And we have these other lock screen clock styles you can set. And yeah, like they are same, just... Uh, like the older ones yeah just the normal older ones uh, lock screen lock styles are pleasant no, like nothing else the uh, one year stuff the basic stuff will remain same then yeah we have a biometrics and security we have face recognition don't know if it works so let's try it into pattern and center the pattern okay i have to set a pattern actually i don't use this device so i haven't set a pattern here no, I'm not wearing glasses. I'll just skip this uh, thing. Oh, no need to skip. Mm. I hope it's registering my face. It's a bit slow. Okay, face is registered. Let's see if it actually works. Stay on lock screen is on so it won't automatically unlock. Okay, so it has unlocked. Oh, so it's working. So face recognition is working. It's a really good thing. And let's also check this the speed. Uh, I have to input this pattern again. Okay, it works. It's slow, but it works. And also now I'm not in a position to actually uh, easily check the device in front of my face. So yeah, that's it. It works fine. Other than that, everything works fine. There are no actual bugs present. The ROM is also very smooth because it's the A6 base. So absolutely, it's smoother than the A7 one year port and the uh, Galaxy S20 port and the Note 20. Uh, sorry, I don't think Note 20 port is available. But yeah, the S20 Note 20 port, anyone, anything about that. It's actually smoother than this. So that's really nice and yep that is it uh, okay also let me show you the camera works fine this is the camera and works fine and yeah you have the 
uh, right, so do yourself, your selfie camera everything works fine there are no actual issues right about the camera so that is it not much about this samsung comes now it's everything is same if the one year 3.0 comes then i'll surely make a video and if any other rom with uh, good performance comes then absolutely i'm going to make a video battery life performance will be same and if you are going to like you no know, for gaming like this device is actually old so i'm not saying anything about the gaming and stuff you can just play your casual games not about some high-end games so yeah that is it if you guys like the video press the like button right now now we will be moving to the installation and if you want uh to watch the installation you can just watch or else this is the end of the video so bye bye for you guys but yeah if you want to install this rom let's go let's take a look at the installation so first of all let's power up the device now press the volume up the home button and the power button to boot your device into your custom recovery i am using the orange fox recovery uh now let's start with the installation first of all back up your stuff regular stuff then you have to wipe your uh, just the normal stuff here as you can see these are the four partitions you have sorry five partitions you have to wipe the swipe to wipe also you need vendor partition which i have already told and you can easily install uh, like just enable the vendor partition through here you can enable that and then you can go right to the video create vendor partition sorry not enable now we have this files just ignore some files we have the godness ui and the wi-fi fix now the wi-fi fix is not for everyone like i faced it so i have it now if you face it you can flash the wi-fi fix first you just have to flash the rom after wiping like i'm just assuming you already have created the vendor partition that is why after that okay so now it has the aroma installer which i was not sure about and as you can see uh, you have to select uh, your language just two languages are available english and espanol then here as you can see it supports uh, j30 uh, g610 so it's J7 uh, 2017, I guess, J5 2017, the J7 2016, and the uh, Galaxy J7 Prime. So yeah, these are the supported devices, which you can install this ROM. And there are separate methods of installing, might be, and separate bugs. So you can just go through that. Threads, if you have that device, then you can select uh, your uh, apps. Uh, if you, whatever apps you want, I will just, uh, I'll just quickly select and skip this. Now here you have to select the boot animation. I will just select the black and we also have the DC Comics boot animation which you can select then the boot logo which you can like whichever you want and the sound high volume or stock sound and if you want root access you can also select the magic 20.3 then that is it just press install and it will start installing the ROM onto your device now i'll just skip this one and let's let me just take you uh after the installation process is done so guys the rom has been installed now just uh, you know reboot the phone now you don't have to flash the wi-fi fix right now you have to just reboot the phone and boot the rom first so i will just meet you at the setup screen or whatever the home screen is so guys the device has been booted and this is the screen the setup screen and the Wi-Fi isn't working for me. So you have, like if it's not working for you, just do this, power off uh, the device again. Then boot it into Orange Fox Recovery or any other custom recovery. And you just have to flash this Wi-Fi fix. And it's for any J7 2016 device, J7 uh, 2016 device only. And then reboot system. And I will meet you at the Wi-Fi screen. And guys, after flashing the fix, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is working fine. You can connect to network uh, and putting your password, obviously. So, yep, uh, that is it for the video. If you guys really like this video, press the like button. If not, the dislike button and subscribe for more videos. If you want to watch more videos about the J716 or other devices I have. So, bye-bye and see you guys soon. And please, guys, take care and wear a mask. Bye-bye.